Hi, my name is Theo, I'm the head boy, uh, and we're here with the head team today to do a little Q&A on the most important questions about sixth form, and if you have any left after this, uh, just email Mr. Chamelay or us. Uh, so the first question is, uh, what is a dress code? So we don't have a strict dress code, it's just to dress appropri appropriately and respectfully, so you can dress comfy because it's not business attire. So what is a typical day of sixth form like? So in sixth form, we usually have one to three lessons a day, and during those, we don't have lessons, you will have study periods. In those study periods, you will be asked to do coursework and homework. In the red room and blue room are the two places where you will find people doing their coursework and homework, and the common room is just used to vibe and have food. Uh, and what equipment do you need? Uh, so you're going to need three uh, folders, one for each subject, and definitely a notepad or maybe two because we don't get given exercise books like you do in GCSE. Uh, so you have to take that responsibility to get your own equipment. And obviously if you're doing anything like science or maths, then you're going to need a calculator. And if you're doing anything like art, then you need a sketchbook. But also, uh, I know that some people find it easier to use a laptop or an iPad to do some of their work. Uh, so you can, you're welcome to do that, but we do have loads of uh, computers in the study rooms. So don't worry if you don't. So what is six form like? I'd say it start with it's a lot more freedom and independence, but unlike in GCSE, teachers aren't going to te uh, aren't going to chase you to get all your work done and your homework. So it's more it's up to you to get your work done in your study periods and so like utilize the opportunities that are around sixth form to complete your work to the best of your ability. And what events do we have? Um, so in sixth form, a lot of the events are organised by the head team, and we have dress up days, movie nights. The teachers get involved. Every Friday we have enrichment where the teachers will come down and play sports with the 12s and the 13s and in January we usually have the ice ball which is also with the 12s and 13s and teachers are invited as well. Uh, so is it difficult to do subjects that you've never done before? I would say it's not. It's something new so I find that a lot of people think it's more interesting because they've never studied it before. Um, for example, I do psychology and didn't really know much about it and now doing it at A-level is something that I want to do at uni. It's a bit strange but you, have, you get to meet new teachers and you have a lot more support. And would you say it's a big step up from GCSE? Um, I wouldn't say it's a big step up. Obviously, there's a lot more independence, as we said. Um, so you don't have teachers always pressuring you to get the work done. But it progresses slowly through year 12 to 13, so it'll slowly get harder. But there are teachers to help you, so if you do need help, just reach out to them. Those are the questions. If you have anything else, just come find us in sixth form or email Mrs. Tamale. And we hope to see you in September.